Tonight the world will watch as the 21st Olympic Winter Games begin in Vancouver, Canada. Earlier today, Citrus TV's Olympic anchor David de Guzman spoke with our very own Clay Lepard via Skype. Clay is in Vancouver interning with NBC and says the city is excited to host these Olympics. Well, starting today and over the next 17 days, the world's best athletes in winter sports will be in Vancouver for the 21st Olympic Winter Games. And there right now is our Olympic correspondent, Clay Lepard. Clay, how's it going? Well, David, it's, it's pretty great out here. The atmosphere is great. The, the city, of, city of Vancouver is very excited for this event. I think that it sort of brought this, this uh, city together and also it's been helping the country overall with their Olympic sport. All right, Clay, there's a lot of security for this type of event of this magnitude. What's the security like there? How much security is there for these games? Well, I can tell you that even if, even at the uh, International Broadcast Center, there is extensive security with random screening. But overall, the security has been pretty tight. There's many streets here that are closed completely for the torch relay, so it's been pretty tight. Talk a little bit about the atmosphere there. I know a lot of Canadians and their people in Vancouver are just excited for these games. It's been seven years since the games were announced that they were going to go to Vancouver. What's the atmosphere like there? Oh, people are very excited here, David. It's just been such a rewarding experience for the whole place. You see everyone, they have these, these red mittens that they, they carry around with them that, that supports Team Canada, and everyone just seems to be very excited about the whole event. And the games do start tonight with the opening ceremony. Now, this is the first opening ceremony to be held indoors. What should we expect watching tonight? Well, I think it'll be a different kind of opening ceremony. Obviously, Beijing was a very up-tempo, very, you know, it was, it was a very unique experience with the thousands of um, personnel they had there working that event. This one, I think you'll find, is, it's, it's, it's a little bit calmer, but it's, it's, it's a good show. I think you should like, like it a lot. And I know there's been a lack of snow. It seems like there's been snow everywhere else in this country rather than in Vancouver. What's the situation there? Well, I think the lack of snow thing is, it's a bit of a situation in Cyprus. The mountain is closed except for athlete training, um, so it's not open to the public. But Whistler seems to be fine with the snow. And um, obviously in the city here, we don't really need it since all of our events are in different complexes. All right, our Olympic correspondent, Clay Lepart in Vancouver. Thank you very much, Clay. And Citrus TV News will be back later to preview the competition at these games. And our taping with Clay this afternoon happened before an unfortunate event in Vancouver. We will have more on that later in the newscast. Thanks, Louise. Well, first, very sad news to report. An Olympic loser from the former Soviet Republic of Georgia has died. Nodar Kumari Tashaville crashed during training on the luge course earlier today and needed emergency treatment. Local newspapers reported his death shortly after. Now this comes just hours before the opening ceremony where nearly 3,000 athletes from more than 80 countries will march in the Parade of Nations. Medal competition starts tomorrow and over 200 athletes will represent Team USA. And one athlete to watch is Lindsey Vaughn. The alpine skier was the gold medal favorite in multiple events before she injured her right shin last week. She says that her leg is making progress and there is less pain after she took a free run down a mountain yesterday. Vaughn has caught a couple of breaks as both yesterday's and today's training runs were canceled due to weather. Other athletes to watch from Team USA, Apollo Anton Ono, who could become the most decorated U.S. Winter Olympian with seven career medals, and Sean White, who is the favorite to win the men's halfpipe in snowboarding. He is the defending Olympic champ. And probably the biggest store heading into these games is Team Canada, which has never won an Olympic medal on home soil. And that's your Olympic update. Back to you, Louise. Thanks, David. And stay with Citrus TV News for continuing coverage of the 25th first Olympic Winter Games from Vancouver. We'll have updates for you over the next 17 days of competition.